So here's an example of a scatter plot. So what we do is we have paired data, x and y, they're quantitative data, and we plot them. We choose one of the two types of data, in this case household size, and weight, and we plot one versus the other. And scatter plots are nice because they allow us to examine possible correlation between two different data sets. Okay, it doesn't mean one is going to cause the other, but we look at we look to see if there is any type of correlation in this case between household size and the weight in pounds of paper garbage that was discarded in one week. All right, now I'm going to show you how to make a scatter plot in Excel. The first thing we're going to do is select the two columns. Select all the data in it. And the next we'll go to insert, chart. And in this case, we want to choose a scatter plot, x, y. Uh, we don't want any dots connected, so we're going to choose the very first one. OK, and here's our scatter plot. Now we need to do some customizing of our scatter plot. So we're going to open the formatting toolbox and do our changes here. So let's first change this title. We're going to go to chart title and um, household size versus garbage. Okay. And you should be more descriptive. Okay, the garbage that was discard, the weight of the garbage that was discarded in one week, instead of just garbage here. All right. So now I should put a label for my horizontal axis, and the horizontal axis is household size. And now my vertical axis, that's the weight in pounds of paper garbage. Okay, um, so we don't have to continue, you know, with that was discarded in one week and so on and so forth because our title would reflect that. Okay, so instead of cutting corners here, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So versus um, the weight of paper garbage discarded in one week. All right, so next um, I want to show you how to make these little, the scatter dots a little bit smaller because these are kind of big. So what we do is we just double click on one. And over here we want to be at marker style. We have, these are the different options we have. So um, I think I'm going to choose that one. And I want it to be a little bit tinier. So let me try three. Yep, I kind of like three, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Um, now I want to get rid of this legend here. So under other options, I'm going to go to legend and tell it to not put one. Right, so here's my scatter plot. 